Hi, my name is Dylan Forbes. My favorite food is sushi. I don't actually know what my favorite food is, to be completely honest. I just, we were talking about Japan earlier. Sushi's the way to go. Hey guys, my name is Dylan Forbes, and I'm about to show you how to roost a corner. Roosting is when you give a little bit of wang chung into a corner and it goes kapow. <laughs> first things first, you need to be able to ride the corner properly. Your tire pressure needs to be spot on. I run 28 PSI in my rear tire and 23 and a half in the front for bike park. Oh, I'm not taking extra PSI out, that's cheating. When you're hitting a turn properly, your braking needs to be done entering the turn and then you need to be off the brakes rolling through. And it's the same when you're roosting a corner as well, except your setup for the turn is gonna be a little bit different if you're roosting versus hitting the turn properly. Okay, body position. Shouldn't have your elbows in and you should not be pinching your knees. You wanna have a wide stance, nice and square on the bike. Elbows out, slightly bent. Knees a little out, slightly bent. And that way you've got a little bit of suspension. Your arms and legs are gonna be most of your suspension. So be able to move up and down. Nice wide stance you're planted. That way also your center of gravity is as low as it's possibly gonna be. Looking up and looking through the turns. When you're looking through the turns, you wanna point your knees your hips and your belly button. If you point your knees, your hips will generally come with it. Look through the turn. You don't wanna be looking at your front wheel, you wanna look through and follow into the next turn. Yeah, so you're coming in, you wanna ride the inside line here, and all of this bank here that's built up is just gonna be your catch, so you can commit as much as you want, and you're kinda of letting your wheel roll over the inside edge if you wanna roost it. <laughs> if you wanna hit it properly, Lines here. Trust it. Trust it. Trust it. What I was saying about pumping into the apex of the corner is you're gonna push your heels in, drive your feet into it, right at the point where you're wanting to push out and accelerate out. And in this corner, there's a bit of a fadeaway hill. So when that happens, you're compressing, rebounding. And when you rebound, you're actually taking a bit of flight over the fadeaway. So you're driving all your weight into that point in the turn. I don't even know what happened. <laughs> so we're on Del Boca Vista. Doesn't really see if there seem like there's much catch here at all, but there is a tiny little pocket in this. And I'm gonna hit that just like the backside of a roller. So pump in, push your feet into it as hard as you can. And then you're gonna accelerate out of it too. Dude, so much faster than us. It's not like I blinked and he was just like, did the entire section of the trail. This little line, that's from my tire folding. It's not folding a lot, but it is folding and kind of shaping to the ground. And that's what's giving that mark. So we're on the two berms before the rock drop on A-line. And if I was to hit these turns properly, I would set up wide, get all my braking done before the turn starts and carry as much speed through as I could. We're trying to roost it, so we're gonna end up coming a little further inside to the turn. Enter a little sharper. We're gonna get our braking done still before the corner. And then this part here is gonna be my apex. So I'm gonna drive all of my, the weight from my feet into that part of the corner. And hopefully you'll, you'll feel the tires start to fold and <laughs> It's a lot easier to do on a shorter radius turn too because you have like a established apex in the corner. Here you're kind of going inside and making your own. I think my whole bike was flexing that time. <laughs> I think I just hit it. A little more inside, so I teed off the corner more. I know it's not the right way to hit it, but that's what's gonna make you be able to fold your tire over. And I just drove my feet into the thing as hard as I could, so.
Cook some berms, have a time. Learn how to roost, actually. I have no idea what my tire pressure's at. Like, do you keep it on you at all times? The digital thing? No. Just have it in your pocket? No, but I do check every morning before I arrive. What's the boy at? What's the boy running? Oh, 20.9. What? It was definitely higher earlier, I swear. Trouping all day. Yeah. So, 20 point, wow. I need to get that. <laughs> See, I wouldn't even hit a turn with that. I'm terrified. 19.5. Perfect. Did you check with the digi gauge or you? No. Yeah, that's probably weird. Oh, okay, still gonna send it. <laughs> I don't want to see any cheating out there. You take care of to do it? That's cheating. I'm cheating. That's cheating. I'm not cheating because it's already gone. <laughs> Another thing, handlebar height helps quite a bit with cornering. Um, you've got quite a bit of a stack height under your, under your bar. That's a disadvantage. It is a bit of a disadvantage because your weight is going to be more upright. And when, you're, when your bar is a little lower, you're going to have a little more weight on your front, front wheel. Yeah. Yeah, it'll give you a bit more traction. But in saying that, it's gonna be good for trails like this. If you were to go ride something steep, a little higher handlebar is gonna help. So you're gonna hit a turn, push in with your heels, and then that's what's gonna give you speed exiting. Got it. We're gonna roost it. We're not gonna set up so far out to the left. We're gonna set up a little bit more inside. Any smart guy is gonna enter wide. Any clown like myself is gonna ride inside and I go rah, rah. Yeah. Oh, I completely missed that. I came out of a berm and I completely missed the next one. It's super hard, at least for me, to like change. We're well, hitting the turn way sharper. There ain't nothing to it but to do it. I like that mentality. Keep your head up and I think that's why you're messing up the exit. Head up? Yeah. Okay. I think that's why you're messing up the exit. Okay. Head up, look where you wanna go. Look where you wanna go. I think, yeah, looking where I'm going helped a lot. Just for a little, a little bit of a line comparison, you can see my tire mark here on the inside. Max is outside, up here. And that's why he's not getting the, the roost so much, is he's hitting, he's not squaring it off as much. It's up. I feel like you're a little rigid. Body's a little rigid. But I think you're not twisting your hips enough either. Okay. Twist your body with it, so I'll really reef into it. Yeah. That was it! He did it! Sick. That was, that was it. Yeah, I'm stoked. And you twisted your hips more? It felt yeah, it felt way better. Yeah. I felt like too I was more prepared coming out. Had my head up and like twist my hips and it was good. This video is brought to you by Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of classes covering dozens of creative and entrepreneurial skills. Explore classes in just about everything, including our favorite, photography, film, and video. Premium membership gives you unlimited access to high quality classes from experts working in their fields to help you learn new skills and make better stuff. And it's affordable at less than $10 a month for an annual subscription. Use it as your online film school. Learn the basics of cameras, cinematography, and video editing. Learn how to make a sicker edit or learn whatever you want. And to get you going, Skillshare is offering two months free trial to the first 500 people to sign up in the link below.